Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan and I'm back again with another DJI Mavic Pro um, tutorial video. Um, this one's really just a re uh, reboot or a part two, if you will, um, of the intelligent flight mode known as point of interest. Um, I did the other point of, inter point of interest video, the first installment, and um, I didn't have a screen capturing device such as you guys are seeing that I now have. And no, I'm not on an Android. I'm still on a iPhone um, still on iOS, and um, I will put a description in the link below of uh, what this app is called that allows you to do video um, screen capturing uh, with the iOS device. So it's pretty cool stuff. Didn't really know that there was stuff out there for the iPhone that would allow you to do this, but um, there obviously is. Um, you guys saw that I did it if you've seen my 360 videos, my 360 photo uh, videos of the Tiny Planet photos. Um, those videos were done with the Litchi app, which has a screen recording um, uh, capabilities in it. So anyways, again, the screen recording app that I'm using, you will find it in the product description. So I just wanted to do a reboot um, or a part two of point of interest intelligent flight mode so you guys could see the screen a lot better. And um, hopefully... Um, Hopefully you guys will learn some stuff from this and this will be a better experience. As always guys, we are in the DJI Go 4 app um, instead of the DJI Go app. So over here, those three white icons on the left of the screen, the bottom one, which is the remote control, that's what we're gonna hit to go to our intelligent flight modes. And on the second page, top in the middle, you will see point of interest. So, okay, let me back up just a little bit. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna find what, um, what your point of interest is. And in this case, I have found this old silo, I believe it is, uh, here in southwest Oklahoma. And um, it has a tree growing up in the middle of it. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. So the first thing you want to do is get directly above and hover over what is the uh, interesting thing or your point of interest. And um, I'm doing my best to get get it about in the more, most of the center of the screen as I possibly can. So I'm going to call that good. And then we'll hit our little remote and hit point of interest. Now at this point, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... Oh, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. First thing you got to do once you get it in the middle, we'll call that good, is you down there in the bottom right, you want to hit record point of interest. Now that knows that that's the center of our screen, that that's our object, that that's the thing it's going to orbit. Now we're going to back up and we're going to set the radius... Um, we're going to set the radius that we want. So I'm going to fly at about 150 feet, 156 feet right there away from it. And then of course I'm going to use my, um, upper left wheel on my remote to set the, uh, angle of the, that I want the camera to get. And so I'll call that good right there. And then you can also set your elevation or your altitude right now as well. Um, so... Let's see, you're about 161 feet out. Well, let's take it down actually a little bit. I always like to get a little bit of the horizon in my shots, if possible. I just think it just kind of adds to it, makes it look a little better. But that's all just a preference. Now I'm going to hit apply. And as you'll see, what's going to happen is, is it by default, it's set to rotate um, what would be counterclockwise and at 2 miles per hour. So you can drag your finger... And you can take that clear up to 22.4 miles per hour. And as you see, it is just um, orbiting around our point of interest, which is pretty cool. I'm holding the remote, but I'm not touching any of the controls. It's doing it all on its own. So now if you want to um, change the direction or change the speed, you just um, down there in the bottom right, you see the little point of interest icon. You're just going to click on that and then... Let's just slow it down quite a ways. Let's take it back down to about two or one or zero, however close we can get it. And then let's change directions. Now let's take it uh, clockwise. Let's take it clockwise at 22.4. And then we'll click hide. And guys, you might notice and see that the uh, water tower isn't exactly in the uh, very middle of the shot. So what you could do is on your left joystick, you can kind of push over and then it will, you can center everything up. And you also, while you're flying, you can change your, um, your angle by using your left upper left gimbal wheel on the uh, remote. 
uh, camera wheel to change your angle. And also, the question I had is can you change altitude while you're in point of interest? So as you'll see here, if you'll look down there, I'm at 78 feet. I'm pushing up on my left stick and it is climbing in altitude. As I climb in altitude, I'm also gonna uh, pan down a little bit with my camera. Okay, so now we're at 154 and it's still at that same radius and uh, it's just orbiting. So now let's go back to our settings and let's drag in and get it to, you know, basically a slow crawl the other way, one mile an hour the other way. I'm also going to uh, bring uh, the drone down, take lower the altitude, and we're going to try something experimental here because honestly I've had this question a lot and I've never tried it, so we're going to go through this together here. Let's. Um, Let's exit point of interest mode by hitting exit down there, and then we're going to click OK. Now it's just back in regular flight mode. Okay, so the question I've had is, is can you set a point of interest, which is what we're going to do. We're hovering above the, uh, the silo again, or the tower, whatever it is. And we're going to set it as our point of interest. Go up a little bit, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, set that as our point of interest. Okay, record POI. Now the question I've had is can you actually face your drone the other way while it orbits around your point of interest? So we're just gonna take it out about 100 feet here, 103 feet, and we're actually going to turn the drone around let me look at this view. There's my circle that I've been doing. So I can really tell that I'm pointing. Okay, so now I am, as you can see there, I am pointing away from the point of interest. Now I'm gonna switch back my modes. I'm just gonna face it, get a little horizon in the shot. There we go. And then let's click apply. And it turns back around, faces the point of interest, and it starts going. Hmm, so guys, comment below if you know um, of a way of doing that. Because honestly, I just haven't done the homework. I haven't done the research. I don't ever see a reason or um, I don't ever see me doing that, using the point of interest to film outside, to film away from your point of interest. Maybe there might be a, a case at some point, but I just don't see it. So, um... I'm not sitting here pretending to know everything about point of interest. I'm just sharing with you guys what I know about it and what its purpose is. But uh, comment below if you know um, what I was doing wrong or how to do that. Actually, let's try this real quick. Let me try one more thing. Let's click. Let's go back and let's exit point of interest again. Let's see. What if, what if I go and I record my point of interest? What if I record my point of interest? This is all experimental. You guys are on this journey with me if you don't already know. I know some of you guys probably already know out there. Uh, come on, get in the center. Okay, intelligent flat modes, point of interest, record point of interest. Now, let me go ahead and fly it a way that whenever my can like a while ago I faced it. I don't think this is going to make any difference at all. Let's just see what happens here though. Now I'm gonna fly away from it. I don't think this will make any difference at all. Okay, and so 140 radius, let's click apply there. And what do you know, it spins right back around and it finds the point of interest. So yeah guys, comment if you guys um, know how to do that because I believe it or not, I do have quite a few people that actually want to um, to know if they can uh, turn the camera away. Let's let's do this. What what happens if I look? I'm pushing left on the stick. Hey, we figured it out. All you do is you set it. Um, all you do is you uh, set it up like normal. But then while you're flying, you um, you push left or right on your left or right stick. And what that does is, is then that turns your drone around. And uh, so, yeah, guys, check it out. We are doing it. So, 
to answer you guys' question, that is how you do it. You just do everything as normal, and then on your left stick, you turn, you rotate your drone to the way you want to face. So now I'm gonna push left on it even more, and look, I'm spinning around, and now I'm back facing inwards right there on the silo. So anyways, let's exit. Okay. And let's bring the drone home. Let's be cool and go under the power lines. So anyways, guys, that's been another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial video. Um, getting the low battery warning. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or learned something. And please hit that subscribe button, guys. As always, this is Dylan, and you have watched another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial.